Hello, in this video I just want to talk about the Blue Tank X T630, which is a cheap unlocked GSM cell phone, and that phone is right over here. We're just going to take a look and I'm going to talk about my experience with this uh, basic cheap cell phone. Uh, what are some of the features, and do I think this is good value for money? I got this for around $17, maybe a little bit over $17 on Amazon. This is an unlocked GSM cell phone, which means that it's compatible with certain service providers, including T-Mobile, which is the provider that I have. And um, I used uh, this phone for a few months just uh, kind of testing it out, looking at some of the features just to see... Um, if it's, if it's worth $17 and if the call quality is acceptable, I don't have a smartphone personally. So I do like these phones very much just because they have a decent amount of features for the price. And usually including a music player, an alarm clock, which I use every day. Um, and um, the one thing that's very interesting about this particular phone, again, it's um, the Blue uh, Tank X. Uh, T630 is that it has a very large screen. I don't know if you can see it, but it's about 2.8 inches long. The screen we're just going to turn on this phone. And it also has a front-facing camera, which is pretty cool. Of course, keep in mind that the camera, the camcorder that are included on this phone, they're not meant to replace something like a point-and-shoot camera that this is being recorded on or any kind of real expensive camera or camcorder or your smartphone. This is just for maybe for someone who just wants a cheap phone um, or someone like me who... Um, uh, someone who just uh, prefers not to have a smartphone with a data plan. So this is just for me something basic. Oh, sorry. So this is the phone. A uh, very large screen, actually, which is it, it's very it's a very pleasant surprise. Um, so here's the phone. Um, you can see I have T-Mobile. There's options to put two SIM cards in. I just put one in. And um, we're just going to take a look at the menu just to see we have messaging, I guess text messaging. Um... Call logs, multimedia, which includes your camera, your video recorder, video player, FM radio. If you plug in, if you plug in, um, sorry, not focusing. If you plug in earbuds over here, um, then you can um, use the FM radio. I think sound recorder, record your voice. So anyways, as, as we discussed, we have this, uh, we have the camera, sorry it's not focusing, um, and really this is just a very basic camera, just keep that in mind, um, nothing too special, pretty much what you'd expect <clears throat> from a $17 phone, but the really cool thing I haven't seen on one of these really basic $20 phones is that they have a rear, uh, a camera that faces here, so we're just gonna, um, we're gonna press this button right here. Okay, and as you can see, it's um, it's actually pointing at me right now. It's pointing over here at the camera that's recording this video. So I'm going to just press this button right there. Okay, so that's it for the camera. You also have a a video recorder uh, to record um, videos. Um, you can find that by going right over here, multimedia, video recorder. There. Uh, there's also a music player. Um, Oh, let's find that right here. There's a dedicated music player, audio player, uh, to play some uh, music um, that you might have had uh, on your memory card. So you can put a, you can get a micro SD memory card, insert the memory card here when you take apart the phone, um, and then you can if you if there's already files on your memory card, they will obviously be transferred here once you put the memory card in. So you can put music, and there's a nice speaker for playing music. And, um, or you can, uh, transfer, uh, you can transfer, um, files like music, uh, from your computer to your phone if you have a USB cable, which is not included in this. This is, just includes a charger, which is somewhere else. A charger and the phone, the battery, that's it. There's no micro SD card included. Uh, no micro SD card, memory card. There's no, um, USB cable, so that would be a separate, uh, purchase if you'd like to be able to drag and drop files on your computer and transfer it to your phone. So there's a music player, um, 
organizer, which is going to include your alarm clock. Um, there you can have a few alarms that you can just set it for different times. That's very useful. Um, calculator, uh, calendar, alarm clock, yeah, stopwatch, Bluetooth, flashlight, which is going to be right. The flashlight is somewhere. Where is the flashlight? Oh, it's right here. My apologies. See, so you're going to turn the flashlight on. Or you can tap, uh, you can um, actually hold down this button right here, which has a little icon, this, the zero button. Hold that down for a couple of seconds, and it should turn the flashlight on. So we're going to see if we can get it go here. There we go. See? Right here. Flashlight. Very useful. So all of these little, all these unique features, well, maybe not unique, but all these cool potentially useful features on a device that costs less than $20. Um, I will say that the call quality, I don't find it to be very good. It's decent, but <clears throat> I have another phone like this for $20. Uh, and that phone uh, just happens to have a lot better call quality. So compared to the other phone I have, which is this one is just, it's good, but for when I was working at home, this didn't really work very well for me because I had trouble hearing sometimes. It's, it's loud, but not very crystal clear. So just keep that in mind. And pretty much what you'd expect if you buy a phone for less than $20, the call quality is not going to be stellar. But there are phones, if you shop around, um, that you, where you can get really good call quality. But just, it's not going to be every single phone you buy for less than $20 is going to have stellar call quality. It's just, it's just the reality of the situation. Um, it's decent. It's good if, if you just want a phone for, for personal use, things like that. I mean, for light use, but really when I was working at home, uh, from March to June, this didn't really suit me very well because they were there. There I had to be productive. I need to be able to hear everything very clearly. The call quality is acceptable, but not perfect, not crystal clear. That's all I'm saying. So this is the blue tank X, um, T, 630, it's a good purchase. This company, Blue, they make lots of these types of basic phones, lots and lots of them. And they're they're, they're pretty reliable. Um, one of my family members has one. I have this one, which I, I don't really use, but I have it as an extra phone just in case, an extra backup phone. This company makes lots of phones and they, I would say they have a pretty good reputation. Um, there's not that many companies nowadays that make these basic phones consistently that have lots of models. So I would just say that, um, I, I do I do like this company that makes these phones. I do like these phones. The call quality is not amazing, but for a device uh, that is just that has some features like an alarm clock, an MP3 player, if you have a memory card, um, a flashlight, which is very useful in the dark, it works extremely well actually. That a, a lot of these phones come with a uh, a flashlight. If you just it's usually a, the buttons usually located around here with a little. Don't know if you can see it. This little flashlight icon right here. Um, and this is very useful in the dark. It actually works extremely well. So a functional flashlight, MP3 player, alarm clock, very basic camera, um, and a phone that's compatible with certain service providers, including T-Mobile. Again, I, I think this is a good purchase just as a basic phone to have um, if you don't prefer to have a smartphone. But I'm not making a guarantee for you. I'm not saying that you're going to like this product. It's just really um, my own personal opinion. So. That's my review of this phone. I think it's um, a decent purchase for the features, but the call quality is not perfect. And um, <clears throat> um, obviously, um, you, you might feel differently. You might like the call quality, but the, this company does make a lot of phones. It's a pretty good company in my personal opinion, just because I've had a few of these phones, a couple of these phones over the years, two of them, and I'd liked both of them. Uh, one thing that's interesting is that, well, to be expected is that the battery life is pretty good generally. If you charge it fully um, and you just use it a few times, maybe a day or a few times a week, this battery will last you a long time, which is usually the case with these phones. They don't have a full size smartphone screen. They don't generally browse the internet with these phones. So you will have a long lasting battery in addition to these cool features like an alarm clock, which it's great. I mean, I don't have to buy an alarm clock now because I have this and a very, very large screen. You might not be able to see it, but this is a large screen for, for a small phone like this that has room for your buttons and your screen. Um, so that's all for this video. I do think this is an okay phone. And um, thank you for watching and have a nice day.